In this video, we're going to learn some tricks for pressure volume graphs. An ideal gas starts in state A, and it expands till it reaches state B. We have to calculate the change in internal energy. We cannot use the normal equation that we're used to. Internal energy is equal to 3 halves nRT, and the change in internal energy, that's delta U, is caused because the temperature changes. But this graph doesn't tell me how many moles we have. The graph doesn't tell me how much the temperature rises or drops. So I can't use that formula. To solve this one, we have to remember that we've seen nRT before. That shows up in the equation of state for an ideal gas, which is PV equals nRT. So nRT is equal to and replaceable with PV. Why is there a change in the uh, internal energy? Well, the pressure is dropping and the volume is increasing. So both of these things are changing. Now all we have to do to find the delta U is take U final and subtract U initial. For the final, we'll have to plug in the final pressure, the final volume. And for the initial, we'll have to plug in the initial pressure and the initial volume. When you think about the delta, you could write it like this if you wanted. You could factor out the three halves and write it as the change in the product, P final, V final, minus P I, V I. This is something we can solve because we look at the graph to find the values of the final pressure and volume. That's going to be 16 for the final volume, 12 for the final pressure. And we look at the graph to find the initial volume and the initial pressure. Those values are 24 for the pressure and 4. So now we calculate the change in internal energy. When I do this on my calculator, I get 144 joules. So again, we started with the classic equation for internal energy. We substituted in for nRT. We found the delta by plugging in the final pressure and volume values and subtracting away with the initial pressure and volume values. The next question. Oh, let's move this up. Calculate the work done by the gas. Hmm, the work done by the gas. Well, there are two ways to find work. Either we can do the fixed pressure times the change in volume, or the area under the PV graph. We can't use this equation because the pressure is not fixed. The pressure is decreasing from 24 to 12. So we can't use this. We'll have to get the area under the graph. All right, well, if I look at the area, it's this area from the line down to the x-axis. Go all the way down to the x-axis. I'm going to break it into a triangle whose area is 1 half times the base, which goes from 4 to 16, times the height, which goes from 12 to 24. This is 12 times 6. And what's 12 times 6 going to be? Then I do the same thing down for the rectangle below. I've got, there's no 1 half here because it's a rectangle. The base is just from 4 to 16, and the height is from 0 to 12. I should have put units here. The total area then, the total work, is going to be, let me cross this out, by the way, when you do this type of a uh, problem on AB, it's nice to point out that you know what the area under the graph is. It's the work. And you would show your work, you know, the, the figuring here, the 12 times 12, the 1 half, 12 times 12. And what do we get? 144 plus 72. That's going to be 216. 
Now, I didn't think about positive or negative, so let me go back. In this case, we are going from a lower volume up to a higher volume. The gas is expanding. That means it's a positive work being done. So let me add my positive sign, because I kind of assumed it up to this point. So I've got delta U. I've got work. Oh, I know what the next question is going to ask. It's going to ask for the heat energy. Determine the heat energy. The heat energy, no, the heat energy exchanged with the gas and the surroundings, I should say. You know, this should say the gas and the surroundings. Well, if I know, if I know delta U and I know the work, I can add them up to get the heat exchanged between the gas and the surroundings. So what was my delta U? It was 144. What was my work? It was also positive. So the value of Q here, let's see, that's going to be uh, 3. That's 5, 6, oh. And we're done.